First countdown of the year! It's already April. Super Smash Brothers, what can I say? It's just the best thing ever. Great graphics, perfect music, and addicting multiplayer. But the best part of any Smash Brothers games are the incredible characters. All of them are great, well, except for these awful ones. So, in order to point out the flaws in my favorite game of all time, let's count down the worst of the Smash Brothers characters. Now, I'm gonna be counting anything from Brawl and Smash Bros. 4, because I've not played Melee, but apparently it's the best thing ever, so, eh, oh well. Where is your god now? Villager proves just what it means to be mediocre. Sure, he's got a, good, a couple of good points, I'll give you a cover in his frickin' smash attacks. See, what the hell is up with that bowling ball? But, really, that's it. The two attacks that were hyped up as hell to, in his reveal were his pocket attack, which is very frustrating to actually perform and really annoying when someone actually uses it against you, and that stupid tree planting thing, which is really, really not worth spending your time to do and isn't as powerful as we thought it was. It, it not, not really as effective either, even on the big stages. Sure, the fan fiction and the creepy fan art was hilarious, but the psychopath just wasn't very good. Sorry, villager. A lot of the characters people tend to hate in Smash Bros. come under the class of heavy characters, and for me, the word is unfortunately the final one. Now, DDD does have some charm to him, but really has no good battle properties whatsoever. Seriously? People like this balloon penguin douchebag? He has no place being in Smash Bros. Sure, it's very funny to dive bomb back onto a stage and kill someone. Or to aiding someone and walking off the stage with a suicide bomb is one of the most satisfying things you can ever do. But still, I love penguins, but this one should have been rolled away as an egg years ago. Here's another one of those quietly fighters when you're actually fighting skills. Oh yeah, it's the first of the awful Mario characters. Wario! This fat dude is so stupid! Seriously, people? What the hell? This farting blah 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 has no place in Smash Brothers. Well, it has no strategy in this. This game is, isn't geared towards battle plans, but you know, I play as Captain Falcon, but still, Wario is just. No! Him going on the stage with a stupid breakable bicycle is just really stupid. Plus, that stupid Wario Wolf is seems only one, what, once in a flipping century? Go away, Wario! Nobody likes you. And now back to Smash Brothers 101 with the Sharingan Warrior. How to win with Pikachu. Down special. Just down special. Pikachu, while being the most adorable mascot Pokemon series, has got no freaking use in the Smash Brothers. Pikachu has simultaneously been selected as the most annoying Smash Brothers character, and it's not as hard to see why. I mean, you could barely come up with some kind of strategy. You probably don't need to, as you can commonly wait since you use Pikachu. You just to spam the hell out of thunder. Who thought that that was a good idea? Having a projectile that comes down quickly, it's not a good idea. Now in Pikachu's case, this is a great move in Pokemon. However, in Smash Bros, it's one of the most spammable moves ever. If I ever hear Pika one more time, I'm going to break something. Green Lantern, he probably deserves it. Welcome. 
Olimar originates from Pikmin, a game I've never played. He manages to combine annoying and frustrating moves and only and is only really able to be used by the MLG legit gods of Smash Brothers and he manages to have some of the stupidest moves in the game. See like in Pikmin, Olimar over here has one of the stupidest moves in any game ever. He kinda plays like Ice Climbers in the fact that his moves depend on AI be beyond the player's control. So when you want to do a certain thing but you've got no Pikmin, Olimar is freaking useless! Also, playing with Olimar is very annoying when you actually have the Pikmin you can do. This Final Smash ain't bad though. Well, Mario characters in Smash Brothers. Like Rubber Luigi, I always hate it when they put new Mario characters in Smash Brothers, because it always just seems like they're taking up the roster. So when Rosalina was introduced, I was very cautious, but then I played this Rosalina, and then I realised she sucked. She's a stupid concept. Taking out the ice stones and replacing them with this stupid thing is really dumb. Rosalina basically relies on her Luma's body to get any work done. Her Luma basically gives her unlimited range while also giving her no range. People with half brain can just avoid the Luma and destroy Rosalina or get rid of Rosalina and pick on poor Luma. Well, she has a majestic dressing sense. It doesn't help her in Smash Bros. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the original joke character, Jigglypuff. Really? No prayers? Well, I guess that's expected. Oh God! Jiggles has been here since the original N64 game. And why is she still here? First to start off with, Puffball has the best, or one of the one of the worst air games in Smash Brothers because the best, when you're good at her, she's gonna be amazing. The worst, you're playing against her, she won't die! Meaning, she, you can't get K, you won't KO her, even if she's at a bajillion percent. This is a terrible one playing as her because she's got no good KO moves. Just singing opponents to sleep makes the games very funly locally and putting up a perfect record the best thing ever to do in the known universe. That's it. I hope they pop this living balloon soon. You know when I mentioned the Ice Climbers? The Ice Climbers are as gimmicky as you can ever get. The point in them is to play as two characters, one you control, and one the advanced AI controls. But when this gimmick is so awful and the only game you can play is just grab, grab, repeat, grab, it can be a tiny bit infuriating to play as, as this and as against. Plus if your partner dies, you are left alone. You, my friend, are very much screwed. Plus, their final smash and rule it. You know the worst and most lovable things ever conceived. It's just an iceberg with no purpose other than to annoy the hell out of people. I mean, it makes a mean Titanic joke, I suppose. Oh, cool. <laughs> Princess Peach, oh my god, why Sakurai? Sure, she's really important in the games she comes from, but god damn it, why? Why did Smash Brothers into butt bouncing, butt plant growing, tennis racketing, douche? Peach has one good thing about her, and that's if you ever want a good time with a proper serious match with someone, then play as Peach. Sure, you'll lose, but it'd be freaking hilarious. Peach hasn't got a single good move, other than the freaking butt bounce. Finally, her smash, final smash is ineffective and utterly defective. But no, she's not the worst. Oh, God. Two words go down in Smash Brothers history as the worst thing ever made and put into my favourite game. Those two words are Diddy Kong. No! Just no! Why Sakurai? My lord and saviour Jesus Christ, why? I can understand, people obviously were saying, oh, we need more Donkey Kong characters, but man, buddy, why do you make Diddy Kong like this? It's awful. You can't play Diddy Kong. And his attacks do so much damage as an anesthetic anesthetics. 
And it's literally hell playing against the evil monkey douchebag. First off, his banana attack, which is just the plain definition dictionary of evil. Second, his pinup Pokemon rocks up so much freaking chip damage that the TF2 the scout is embarrassed. Finally, holy Jesus, oh my god, that freaking slide special is the worst thing of, in the history of video games. Just because it's like, right, may or may not like aliens, doesn't mean that Diddy Kong's gonna harass my lovely face. I'm the Shining Gun Warrior, and if you like playing Diddy Kong, you've made some bad decisions in your right, pals.